Now, we are looking at a wild lettuce, and sometimes this can also be considered, people will think that it's plantain, but you see the little seedlings popping up, and they jump off whenever I touch it. Yeah. That's because there is another plant growing with it, and some men, some people call this, uh, some people mistake this as wild man's pepper because of the jumping and so forth, but that is just growing tied in there with the wild lettuce. This is your wild lettuce. And there's dandelions here, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Our favorite plant. Yes. <laughs> and the way that you can tell is, see, the leaves look like a sword. And they have these little sharp teeth, what they call maybe saw teeth. Mm -hmm. But then their butt out here at the end is round. That's how you know that's a dandelion. And so she'll start throwing up some blooms for us here shortly. But what's wonderful about her is you can use the fresh leaves and you can eat them just like they are, a tall mm -hmm. salad. But if you needed to make you, you needed to treat planter's warts, then you come out and you harvest your leaves and you steep them in 80 proof or higher liquor and make sure that you use one third to two thirds. So you've got two to three counts. So you got three parts of your alcohol, such as Everclear or vodka, even brandy. And then you're gonna have one to two thirds water. And then of course you wanna make sure you have at least two thirds plant. So if you get a half a cup of this and you're using a cup of your alcohol, and then you're going to give it another fourth of a cup to half a cup water. Okay. And you're going to let it steep seven to 14 days. In the sun or in the, <clears throat> just in? In the dark or on a shelf. Okay. And just shake her every day or agitate her every day. The way that you know it's done is whenever your herbs have a crunchiness to them or they're just kind of floppy lazy, they're just like, ugh. They've given all they're going to give. <laughs> so take the spent herbs out, strain out your liquid, make sure you strain it a couple of times because sometimes um, other seeds lay upon it or even the, the larva of others, you know, insects and stuff. And then that way it's not in, floating in there and mm -hmm. getting all paranoid, but there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Right. It's It'll great. last about 50 years. Right. So make sure you label it and date it. Okay, awesome. <clears throat>